Welcome to the Rideau Canal. In today's video, we're taking you along the UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Rideau Canal. Starting in Ottawa, the capital city of Canada, the Rideau Canal runs for 202 kilometers through villages and vineyards, historic sites and wilderness, all the way to Canada's first capital city, Kingston, Ontario. These are all the things to see and do along the Rideau Canal. Come see the locks on the Rideau Canal. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on that bell so that you get notified when we put up a new video because you don't want to miss a thing. Welcome to the Rideau Canal! The Rideau Canal starts in Ottawa at the Ottawa River where the historic Fairmont Chateau Laurier stands proudly overlooking the eight incredible locks stepping down to the river. While in Ottawa, make sure to spend at least two days exploring this city that is filled with incredible museums, plenty of attractions, a fantastic food scene, and trendy neighborhoods like the Byward Market and Spark Street. And this is where the Parliament of Canada sits. They're hard at work in the Senate and the House of Commons on Parliament Hill. There are paths that run along the Rideau Canal and the best way to get around is by cycling. Escape Bicycle Tours offers bike rentals or tours that will take you through the city and to the neighboring Gatineau in the province of Quebec. There's so much to see and do in Ottawa that you need at least two days to see it all and we have an entire video highlighting all the things that you can do in Canada's capital. All ready for the cruise down the Rideau Canal. To really explore the Rideau Canal in Ottawa, you can take a Rideau Canal cruise to see an overview of the city. There are 1.5 hour cruises that take you from downtown to Dow's Lake where you will see all the sites along the river, including the Pretoria Bridge which was built in 1915. This vertical lift bridge elevates to let boats pass when needed. As we head south on the Rideau Canal, our first stop is Dow's Lake. Dow's Lake is a beautiful urban lake with year-round attractions with parks, boardwalks and a pavilion complete with restaurants and bars. Make sure to stop by Little Italy for a taste of Italian culture as well. Dow's Lake is home to the world's largest tulip festival that happens annually each May and in the winter it comes alive during the world famous winter carnival Winterlude. We're going ice dragon boating here and it's so exciting this is winter loot. Hello Dave! You can enjoy the Rideau Canal year round and during the winter months, especially during the month of January, it turns into the world's largest skating rink. We're here on the Rideau Canal out for our morning skate. It really is beautiful. It's a gorgeous morning uh, and they have a really awesome setup here. So you can go along, they have warming huts along the way. So if you get a bit chilly, you can go in and rest or you can use them to throw on your skates. Uh, this morning, it's so beautiful. I'm sitting out here on the picnic tables. They have eateries, be beaver tails, which is typically Canadian all along here. So we're gonna tie up my skates and get skating on the world's largest skating. Make sure you get out on the Rideau Canal Skateway early in the morning. You have it all to yourself, except for a few commuters going to work. When the conditions are good, the Skateway is free and open to the public 24 hours a day. You can bring your own skates or there are plenty of places in Ottawa to rent the skates. There are also shelves where you can leave your winter boots behind, but they don't have lockers so it's at your own risk. So here's where we start, baby, kilometer zero. There's 7.8 kilometers of trail around here, and you gotta do it when you come to Ottawa. So when you're skating on the canal or walking on the canal, you can stop and get some beaver tail, get some poutine, get some hot chocolate, they've got it all. Everybody loves a beaver tail. You gotta get one each. Oh yeah, no sharing here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
What a day. You can drive, hike, bike, or paddle to all the places we visit on the Rideau Canal. And you can even take your own boat all the way from Ottawa to Kingston to do the entire 202-kilometer system. Personal boats are allowed on the Rideau Canal, and if you are lucky enough to own your own, this is an amazing trip. But never fear, even if you don't have boating experience, you can rent luxury houseboats from La Boat in Smiths Falls and make your way up or down to Ottawa and Kingston. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Awesome, we're just doing a spin. Perfect. We've arrived in Smith Falls. Isn't it beautiful? Smith's Falls is the largest town between Ottawa and Kingston and is worth spending at least a day to explore. It's also the place where Le Boat is based out of. Our favorite place to visit here was the Railway Museum. Looking for some very cool, unique accommodation. You can rent this on Airbnb. Come and stay in the caboose here. They'll cater dinner for you overnight. This is a pretty cool place to hang out. So here we are, we're at the Railway Museum and we're gonna get to drive this sucker. The museum not only lets you tour different boxcars and cabooses, it also has several activities like taking a ride on the train. We were lucky enough to experience what life is like as an engineer. That was wild, I just drove a train. A highlight for both of us was getting the chance to play on the old hand car to crank our way up and down the track. in Merrickville, a historically beautiful town here on the Rideau Canal. Merrickville was voted the most beautiful village in Canada by communities in Bloom, and it truly is a beautiful little town. Yeah, Merrickville is such a charming little town. Lots to do here and lots to eat. Merrickville is definitely one of my favorite towns on the Rideau Canal so far. It is just a beautiful heritage town that uh, is filled with so many uh, historical sites. Like we've got the old power generators, we have the Merrickville ruins, we have the river and the rapids. Of course, there's the Rideau Canal. It's just an excellent stop. Make sure you come and do some shopping, grab some fudge and some ice cream, and just take a stroll around town and make sure you got all the walking trails. Now that was beautiful. Well, we have arrived here at the beautiful town of Westport where we're going to dock for the night. There's a brewery, there's a winery, there's fudge and ice cream. Let's go check it out. vineyard and winery just out of Westport and what a beautiful setting we have the vineyard in the background the lake there's art installations and it is spectacular and we're off Taking a trip through the Rideau Canal is like going through a living history museum. The 45 locks in 23 lock stations have barely changed in 200 years, with the original lockmasters' houses and blockhouses still intact. And the locks are all cranked the same way they were back when the Rideau Canal opened in 1832. One of the cool things is, is there's a lot of history around here along the Rideau Canal, like this blockhouse behind me here in Newborough. You learn a lot about what life was like along the canal during the 1800s. It's the oldest continuously operated canal system in North America. All but two of the locks are operated by hand from Ottawa to Kingston. In Smith Falls, the deepest lock is the most impressive and it uses hydraulics. When boating, you need to pay fees to go through the locks, but those fees are covered when you rent a boat with La Boat. If you're visiting by car, the locks are free to enter. You can walk along them, go over them, and visit the museums and information centers. 
Plus, the staff are really friendly and informative, and it's fun to sit back and watch them work. And that's how you go through a lock, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful day here in Ontario, Canada. We're at Beverages Lock and the skies have opened up and it's sunshine. So with Le Boat, you can rent kayaks and bring your bicycles and it's really great to go kayaking down the channel. You can even go through the locks if you want. This is very cool. I haven't done anything like this. Done a lot of canoe stuff, but never gone through a lock. All right, so when you go to a lock, the lock etiquette is go to go up to the blue line and wait. If you do paddle through locks, make sure that you have a rope so that you can hang on to the sides. Wow. We're in a lock on the Rideau Canal on a canoe. And you really do want a rope because the walls are slimy. You just uh, roll up with the, with the tide. We're in now, here we go. No turning back. We've arrived at Colonel By Island. The weather took a big turn today, so it's chilly. So I'm all uh, bundled up to go for a little hike around the island and see what's up. I heard that the Rat Pack used to hang out here and the Mafia from New York used to hang out here. So uh, it's a pretty historic island. Let's go see. There's really so many things to do. Every day is something different. You have a mix of towns, islands, hiking trails, biking trails, kayaking, boating. It's quite the all-inclusive trip of adventure. Well, this is pretty awesome. We just came into Chafee's Lock. It's a nice little nook here. Absolutely beautiful, like everything here on the Rideau Canal. Chafee's Lock is another must-visit lock station on the Rideau Canal. There's a marina, a place to moor your boat, and the famous stop here is the Opinicon Restaurant. This historic restaurant retreat dates back to the 1950s and feels as if you've stepped right into the movie Dirty Dancing. There's an ice cream shop and there's also a museum. Easy peasy, nice and easy. <laughs> In for the night. One of the coolest stops on our trip is Kilburn's on the Rideau right here in Newborough. There's local crafts and artisans. They have some awesome cowboy boots that are handcrafted designs. And it's really a lot of fun just wandering through the maze of these historic five houses that are all together creating this very unique general store. Welcome to the Rideau Ferry Stop here on our lovely Le Boat trip. Make sure you grab a beer at the Perth Brewery or CC's. It's the perfect stop on the Rideau. Jones Falls is often considered one of the most attractive locks on the Rideau Canal, with a total of four locks. There's a large turning basin between one and the other three that are connected. And what makes Joan Falls so special to us is all the historic plaques, the lock houses, and the 16 kilometers of hiking and biking trails. Joan Falls is a really cool lock because there's actually four of them here. So you can park at the top of the lock and then take a walk down here and see how it all operates. A visit to Kingston, Ontario is really unique because it is a city that is filled with national historic sites and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Rideau Canal is right behind me and if you want to come and see a really great view of the canal, come out to the Kingston Mills Canal which is about 15 minutes from downtown and it's uh, several locks. I think there's three separate steps down so it's a real classic view of the lock system here on the Rideau. 
The Rideau Canal goes all the way to Kingston, Ontario, and it meets Lake Ontario. This is another fantastic city to visit, and just like Ottawa, it requires at least two to three days to really take it in. Located just three hours from Toronto and Montreal, it's right in the middle and makes for a fantastic retreat. There's a lot of history here being Canada's first capital city. It's located on Lake Ontario, the St. Lawrence and the Rideau Canal. So it has a really unique setting being on all these great bodies of water. We have an entire video dedicated to all the things to do in Kingston and you can find it in the links below along with more links to Ottawa things to do and other things to see and do on the Rideau Canal. Kingston, Ontario. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you subscribe to our channel because we put up new videos each week and you don't want to miss a thing. So make sure you click on that bell for notifications. See you next time.